Hello, my friends. The kids are back in school, and it's time to make some healthy school lunches that our kids will enjoy and that will give them the energy they need to learn. For the first lunch, we're going to make some mini pancakes. Kids love anything small, and mini pancakes are a great addition to a lunchbox. I'm going to use two small containers. In the first, I'll put some chocolate spread. And in the second container, I'm going to put some peanut butter. I'm going to put the lids on the containers so the dipping sauce doesn't get on the pancakes. Then I'm going to add some grapes and some walnuts. And to make this extra special, I'm going to add some M&Ms and some raisins. I found that there's some extra room in my tray, so I'm going to add two more pancakes and this little fork to eat it with. For our second lunch idea, we're going to be making some vegetable and cheese kebabs. I'm going to use some little skewer sticks and on each stick I'm going to assemble some I'm going to assemble some cucumbers, cheese, cherry tomatoes. You can use whatever cheese you like to. I'm using some halloumi cheese here, but you can swap that out for mozzarella or cheddar cheese. You could also swap out the vegetables. You could use some carrots or bell peppers. This is a real fun way to get your kids to eat their fruits and vegetables. And on the side, I'm going to put some colored bell peppers and a little thing of olives. I'm also going to add some pita bread. I'm going to cut the small pita bread into little triangles. I'm using two colors of pita bread here, some whole grain and some white bread. I'm also adding some orange slices. For our third lunch idea, I'm just going to assemble a quick bento box. I'm going to use some carrots and some cucumbers. I put them in these little silicone trays so that the foods stay in their separate compartments. Then I'm going to add two boiled eggs. I've already put some salt and pepper on them. I'm also going to put a little tray of crackers. On the side, I'm going to add my fruit, grapes, and some oranges. I'm also going to add some walnuts, some M&Ms, and some raisins. I'm also going to put these cute airplane accents on the eggs. For our fourth lunch, I'm going to make a banana peanut butter and honey roll up. I'm going to start with getting a tortilla and covering it with peanut butter. You can use any nut butter you like, or you can even use chocolate spread. I'm using peanut butter today. After covering the tortilla roll with peanut butter, I'm going to put a spoon of honey on it. After spreading the honey over the tortilla, I'm going to get one ripe banana and peel it. After peeling the banana, I'm going to place it on the tortilla roll. I'm going to roll the tortilla roll around it and then I'm going to cut it into, into some small sections. After I cut the tortilla roll, I'm going to place them in the lunch box. After placing them in the lunch box, I'm going to make some fun fruit kebabs. I'm going to use some grapes and apples. You can use whatever fruit your child likes, strawberries, bananas, peaches, or any fruit that you can cut up into bite-sized pieces. Having fruit on a stick makes it much more appealing. I don't know what the trick is, but whenever I send these fruit kebabs to school with my kids, they always eat up all their fruit. To finish off this lunchbox, I'm going to add some walnuts and some M&Ms. I'm also going to add some mini crackers. And this lunch is all done. For our fifth lunch idea, I'm going to make a little assemble it yourself lunchbox, kind of like the Lunchables that you can find in the market. I'm going to take some turkey, cut it up into small strips, and then roll it up and place it in the silicone container. You can use turkey or bologna or any kind of deli meat you like. Today I'm using some turkey strips and some bologna. Next I'm going to add some cheese. I'm using some cheddar cheese. I'm cutting it into some small squares. I'm also going to use some provolone cheese. 
I'm also cutting that into small squares and then I'm going to place it in the silicon container. Once all my cheese is placed in the container, I'm going to place some crackers. Next, I'm going to add some vegetables. I'm putting some carrots, cucumbers, and cherry tomatoes. Next, we need to add some dipping sauce. I'm going to use this little container and fill it up with some ranch dressing. This way, the kids can dip their vegetables in it. I'm also going to add two little Reese's cups as a treat. I'm going to use these cute little accents so that the kids can use them to get their cheese and vegetables. For our sixth lunch, I'm going to make a pasta salad. I'm going to start out by putting some pre-boiled pasta that is already cooled, some black olives, and then some cherry tomatoes that have been cut in half. I'm also going to add some mozzarella cheese that has also been cut into small cubes. And then I'm going to put some fresh basil that has been sliced into small strips. Then I'll add a dressing. It's made of olive oil, garlic powder, some salt, and oregano. After I add in all the ingredients, I'm going to mix the salad around. Make sure that the flavor gets to all the different parts of the salad. If you don't want to make your own dressing, you can always use some Italian salad dressing. It works just as well. Now, as a side, I'm going to add some fruit. I'm going to put some grapes and apples that are cut up into bite-sized pieces. I'm also going to add some walnuts and a little mini Reese's Pieces peanut butter cup. I'm going to add this little fork so that they can pick up the vegetables and this big one for the pasta. I hope you enjoyed these lunch ideas. Please subscribe to the channel and let me know if you'd like to see some more lunch ideas in the comments. Thank you!